guys uh, welcome back to my channel and today we're gonna do a recent reads wrap up so I have a few books that I wanted to get through and talk to you guys about and I realized that some of them I finished like three months ago and I never talked about them so let's jump right into it so the first book I want to talk about is caffeine and that's by Michael Pullen and this is technically I guess a memoir but it's like a scientific memoir where this guy does an experiment on himself and the premise of it is that he's been addicted to caffeine for years upon years he's a writer and he writes a bunch of articles and so from day to day he really needs caffeine and coffee in general in order to function and assist with his writing and so one day he decides you know I'm not sleeping very good I think that I'm going to quit caffeine altogether, which is precisely what he does and is the entire premise of the book. So he quits caffeine and he starts feeling all these crazy symptoms and he starts reaching out to these scientists that are like the top scientists in how caffeine affects the brain and what it does to your body and how it affects you long term. So as he's pulling this experiment on himself, he's also going to the scientists and he's talking throughout the book about the scientific aspects of what's actually going on inside his body as he's quitting caffeine. Now, overall, this book is about two hours long. I have to say I really enjoyed it. As a nonfiction, I really thought that it was really well done. The writing was very beautiful, although there were times where I would have to rewind the book in order to fully, I guess, soak in what he was saying. Michael Pollan has a very scientific but also artsy way of writing, and it could come off as a little bit, I guess, highbrow at times, but overall I really enjoyed it and I thought that his writing was really beautiful, and he did a very good job at articulating what he was going through as far as his withdrawal symptoms and what he was experiencing as he was quitting caffeine and he did really well with the book as far as being able to talk about and switch off between what his experiences were and then putting in bits and pieces of other people's scientific research so i really enjoyed the book overall and I ended up giving it 4 out of 5 stars. So the next book that I want to talk about is Stranger Planet. And this is the sequel to Strange Planet, which you guys know that I loved. I read that in a previous vlog. It's a comic series where there are a bunch of aliens and they go and do these short stories. And almost the entire comic series is written around how people say things. So they'll take different aspects of human life and they'll talk about them in different ways and it's, it's so hard to explain but I really, really enjoyed it and I really loved it and I hope that he comes out with a third book because the second one was awesome and overall I gave that book 4 out of 5 stars. So the next book that I want to talk about is Cinderella and this is an Audible exclusive that I listened to. It was about 45 minutes long. And this is the child version, so you can put this on in the car and your kids can listen to it. And it was overall very cute. It was very flowery and just sweet and nice to listen to. As far as plot goes, it was similar to the original Grimm's Fairy Tales version, but it cut out all the violence and all the really kind of bad stuff that made the Grimm's fairy tales so horrific so overall I really enjoyed this book and I give it three out of five stars it could have been a little bit longer I think but I still enjoyed it nevertheless and I would definitely try out their other books so the next few books that I want to talk about are actually books that I finished in October and I did some reading vlogs about them and I absolutely loved them so the first one that I finished in October was Fangs by Sarah Anderson. And if you guys know me and this channel, you guys know that I absolutely loved her series, Sarah Scribbles. And when I realized that Fangs was out, I picked it up immediately. I absolutely loved it. It was really well done. I really liked the art. 
and she did something different within the book that she didn't do in her Sarah Scribbles collection where she made everything pretty self-contained within each comic but you also got to see how the couple in the story had an evolution to their relationship throughout the book. So the first few comics are them meeting and them starting to date and then after that you see how their relationship forms throughout the rest of the comic. So they get into a lot of different circumstances that are really funny and it was really well done and I really enjoyed it. So the next book that I want to talk about is Wilma Ketty, My Eyeballs. And this is a nonfiction by Caitlin Daugherty and it's about these different questions that children have asked her throughout her life about death. Each chapter is centered around a different question. So like there's one that was what will happen to my body in outer space? And there's another one that's like, what happens when they run out of room to bury dead people? Overall, each chapter was about 10 minutes long, and the book in total, I think, was about three hours or so. But I really enjoyed it, and I thought that it was really good. I had a lot of fun. As weird as it sounds, I had a lot of fun listening to the book even though it was about a very dark topic. And I think that that's a real talent that she has, is she has the ability to talk about something that's so dark, and she inserts comedy into it without it being really in poor taste. She doesn't sway away from the uncomfortableness of death, but she does talk about the scientific process of a body breaking down, and some of the grosser things that happen after you die, but she does it in such a way that it's actually more relatable than it would be if you were just, you know, kind of dealing with a textbook type example of these scientific processes. So overall, I really enjoyed it, and that's part of why I continued reading it, and overall, I gave it five out of five stars. Hope that you guys enjoyed this wrap up and I'm interested in knowing what you guys are reading and I'll see you next time. Bye!